there were lessons that we've we've now learned uh, from from COVID. But then there is there are, you know, it could we could have a we could have it in a different form, can't we? Where you know it, it's sort of not the way that we expect it. Like this bubonic yeah. plague, for instance. I mean, if that's if that starts spreading, I mean, uh, they don't even know how it's being transmitted. Um, mm. So there's, there's there's a lot of research going into. I mean, we had I mean, there was a time when we had Ebola, and that was that was serious. Yeah, um, yeah. Although it wasn't, I think it was more prevalent in in in, in African countries. Uh, mm. But you know that 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 were a that was something uh, as well that we had to, yeah. So um, we do not have a phantom here. Um, I did send I did send a link down, but um, we don't we don't have. What about a... Rose? Wasn't Rose going to be here this week? Yeah, well, it, Rose. Um, that was why she rang us the other day. Um, that was why um, she. Um, that was why she rang us when she rang us to say that. Yeah, she, she rang, didn't won't, she? Yeah, that she won't be able to make this week. Um, oh, did she? Yeah, she won't be able to oh, make really? this week. She said. Oh, okay. She said she might be able to make. She, she said next week then. Um, right. So, so we'll, we'll see Rose next week. Hope hopefully. Um, this. Um, I don't know if you've had uh, time to look at the, the. There's a new. Um, there's a new uh, series or well, there's a new uh, what's that word? Documentary, yeah. There's a new documentary on on, um, and I think we I think we touched on it last time, and it, it yeah, it, but it's it's actually out now on on Netflix. So the 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 man with a thousand kids. You remember we we talked. Oh on, yeah, we talked about that, didn't we? Uh, yeah, yeah we, we talked on it. We talked on it uh, last week, and I actually watched the, the the documentary a day after. I think it was released the day after we we talked about it, and 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 this, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it for you, but maybe perhaps you might want to watch it. But there was this. They 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 now succeeded to track down the guy. So they were able to track down the guy. He was from the Netherlands, and mm. and they now took him to court. There was this group of women, and they teamed up together and and they they tracked him down. They took him to court, and they actually won um, the case. So the the judge decided that um, she must, he must stop um, donating. Sperms to clinics, and if and, and if he did, for every sperm that he donated, uh, the fine was a hundred thousand dollars. So a hundred thousand dollars fine for every every sperm that, that that he donated, and it was quite darker than that, Trevor. It was darker than that because I sort of on the face of it, I sort of took the guy's side. I thought, you know what, there's nothing wrong in what he's doing. You know, he's mm. helping people that have fertility problem yeah know? um and that's how i saw it but then the dark side was that this guy was in cahoot with another guy so it was like a kind of a kind of a uh, like a mob style sort of thing where you know they, they'd get the two semens and then mix it up and, it, and they'd gamble oh, well. on on which one would get the result you know, um, so so actually they had they had this website made up, and they had all these different profiles. Had all these different profiles of you know. Um, mm you know the 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 man donors yeah potential yeah, do donors. yeah donors yeah so they they, yeah. Had, they had all these donor profiles made up but there was only two people that were doing it yeah yeah so yeah. you know so I, <laughs> so these people were paying for different profiles 
but it was actually yeah. just two people that were doing it. And 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 then the fertility clinic actually had, or the donor clinic, whatever, actually had a limit on the on the number of donations they could receive from one donor, and it was twenty five. Mm. So what this guy do, do, did was to do like a, a tourism kind of thing. So he'd go after, he'd go outside the, the, the jurisdiction. And, yeah. you know, so he'd go to places like Mexico and, and Australia and, 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 and USA, Kenya, um, but it was out of a place. So, so all these women mm. actually filed a class lawsuit to, or an injunction to stop him from from this. It's, it's really, really educated, um, and, and it just makes me think, you know. And and all of these women were saying, well, you know, he was in the end he felt victimized. He said, well, I was only helping. I'm, you know, I'm helping people, but then he had he had this sort of. He had this sort of like a mini God mentality where, mm. you know, he felt, he felt like, you know, I'm giving yeah. life, I'm yeah. giving life to people. Um, and it just made me think, um, how are these markets regulated? You know, cause there's no regulation mm. there. There's no, there's no regulation there. It's just, you know, how, how are they regulated? What's going to happen if somebody, if one of the kids, all oh, right, so 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 there was some of the issues that was brought out there, and I thought they were very, quite valid issues that were or, or concerns, not issues, but concerns that was yeah. raised in the documentary. And one of the concerns was, um, because obviously he had close to hundreds in in a particular area, um, that he did, and and some of the mothers met up with each other, so they became friends. And then they found out. Um, and so what if one of the kids fell in love with uh, the other one? You know, what, what, mm. what, happened, what happens then, you know? Um, you know yeah, because I suppose they're stepbrother and stepsister, aren't they, yeah, effectively? Yeah. yeah. And you, yeah. Say, you say it's not regulated, but the fact that presumably a woman, when she goes for this, yeah. she selects a profile, and I, I imagine... That a profile should talk about ones that the donor's um, health history, anything that he or he inherited that could be passed on. So in that in that sense, that explains that would explain what this guy was doing that was highly illegal. Yeah. Um, in other words, so so to that degree, there must be some regulation. I would have thought. Yeah. Because the, the authorities would assume that the profiles they've got are authentic. Yeah. But then another question would be, be quite interesting to know whose profiles and presumably photographs were in those profiles, did he use? I mean, was that just, did he just gather lots of different photos of people, of men he saw in some situation, you know, online yeah. and put them up and made up a name and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it goes very deep, as you say, it's very dark in the event. It does. It does yeah. But I'm surprised. I'm surprised in some ways he only got a warning. I mean, was he fined at all or he was just yeah. told next time it would it, be a fine. He wasn't fined at all. He was just, no. yeah. So they just, they just placed that. They just wanted to stop him from, you know, um, um, they would just want to doing what he's doing. From doing what he's, he was doing. Um, I don't think because because uh, whatever decision or whatever um, whatever the judge arrived at as as her decision would set a precedent, wouldn't it? Because mm. going forward, because mm. there's never been anything like that. Um, no, that's been what about know, his. His, his cohort, the guy who did it with him, All was right. he on trial as well? Well, um, that he wasn't on trial because he wasn't the face of, you know, the the whole thing. Um, mm. But it was a it was a whistleblower. There was a whistleblower right. that worked with them, and he didn't come on camera, so he was 
you know, I, you know, or his name was withheld, his identity was, you know, so he was kind of an anonymous. Um, and, and he just went on on camera with blurred in a dark room and and he, he was, you know, saying what he was saying. Um, so, you know, there's no way of 